So this is part two of going through inheritance. And uh, in the previous video, you will have noticed that I showed you how to set up your class. So I walked through the class that was set up just for an individual person. Uh, I also showed you how we can use inheritance. So we had each of these different classes and uh, we inherited the main class, our super class, our parent class, okay? So we inherited that. So all of those methods such as description are applicable and we can even use the language speaking, but we may want to overwrite them. So obviously with this one, we can put in the word English in there and you'll notice here it said Ray is speaking English, all right? But when we've overwritten the other classes, all right, You'll notice here, what I've done here is it says speaks for the classes where we've overwritten it, all right? Whereas Ray was using the original class, these two, so the German and Welsh people, they have overwritten the language so that it shows their own. Now, we may sometimes want to continue to use the original formatting from the previous class from our parent okay so as much as like in real life our parents can embarrass us and we're like oh gosh and all of that sometimes we may actually want to make sure that we keep the original formatting well this is where we can use something called dot super because what it will allow me to do is pass in the attribute the variable into back to the parent but use their formatting so i'm just going to show you this here so again have a look here it says bridget speaks german and glenn speaks welsh but we want it to say is speaking so we're going to just change the wording up slightly so if i go to we're going to start with glenn all right and instead of saying return this this paragraph here we're going to send it back to the superclass, all right? Because what we can do is we can access the parent class and we can search. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to make sure, ignore the battery. I'm going to go to, instead of returning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go return super and what it does now is it's going to search the parent class for that method. So I'm going to go super dot, all right? And the method that we're using from the parent was language, all right? So we're going to do super dot language. And inside that, we are going to use speaks because we've declared that here. Let's see if we can use the formatting of the original class to do that. All right, so that speaks is equal to Welsh. So we're sending the language up into the original class. We're sending that. Let's see what happens now. You'll notice that I'm now using the original class. So I've gone back to the top of the hierarchy. I've gone and made sure that I'm using the same setup. Now, you're probably thinking, what's the point of that? Why didn't I use the original one? Think about how you are passing variables in and out of some of these methods. It may be that in the original class, you are producing a web page for the output, but it might be that it outputs it slightly differently, okay? So you might have a, a web page that produces everything all in red writing, whereas down here in the Welsh, you may have used the Welsh colors. There are lots of different ways to do this, but the point is that Python searches the parent class for the method and passes in the variable, okay? So you can keep the formatting. So that's one kind of step forward of how we use the word dot 
how we use the word super to go back to the original class. Hope that's useful. Uh, just to finish off quickly, there is other things that you can do uh, when you are in the shell. If you want to check things, you can go is instance. And what you can do is you can check the name that you've created to see if it is a part of that class. So I've created my instance Ray and I want to check if it belongs to person. True. Okay. The other thing you can do is you can look at type Ray and you can see whether it is a class or not. I, again, I can go type person and I can see what that is. Okay. I can go type. So I can see that person is a class, but with Ray, I can see it belongs to person. Let's go for Bridget type. And I can see that that is a class that belongs to the German. All right. Have a play around with it. See if you can get to grips with the understanding of using super and uh, look, look out for more tutorials. I hope that was useful.